iframes. What is an iframe? In this short video, I'm just going to be discussing how to create an iframe and what they can be used for. Right now, I'm in Notepad++, and if you want to open up your template, uh, we can go ahead and start by creating our title tag. And let's go ahead and title this one iframes. Let's go ahead and drop down to our body tag here and open it up just a tiny bit. And an iframe is a tag with an opening and a closing. It is a container. And uh, really all you need is this tag and a couple of attributes placed inside of it. You really don't even need in anything inside the container. Uh, all we need to do is select uh, the source of where our iframe is coming from and in this case I've created a page here already called iframe.htm and it's just a bunch of text here uh, the first chapter of a short story that I found on the web and the source of this is on my root folder where my site.html is located now a shorthand to find this would be just to type in iframe.htm if this was located inside another folder, uh, we can go up the chain and say it was located in an iframe folder. And inside that iframe folder, it was located in tutorial video folder. Um, this is just the shorthand to locate your local um, web pages through a folder system. But in this case, it is in the root folder, so we don't need any of this. And it is just iframe.htm. And after this attribute, let's go ahead and put in a width attribute of, let's say, 400 pixels. And a height attribute of 200, oops, 200 pixels. And after we do this, let's go ahead and save our file and run it in Chrome. And as it launches here, you can see that our text is inside of a little box here with a scroll that we can scroll down and it is 400 in width and 200 in height. And this can be very useful if, let's say, you wanted to place something on the page, but you didn't want it to cover the entire page, or you just wanted to cover a little section like this and have them, the users scroll down to uh, finish reading or seeing whatever you placed on here. Uh, it can be very useful in this matter. Iframes are used frequently. Let's say we wanted this to cover maybe 800 pixels. Go ahead and save that and refresh in our browser here. And now that we've got 800 pixels, they can go ahead and start reading this short story here and uh, scroll down to get to the rest of it. Another way that this can be helpful is let's say um, there's something on the web that you want to display and you have authority to display it. Uh, so let's say you wanted to display Google on your page for some reason. Well, you can actually, instead of just adding a uh, web page that you've created, you can go in here and put source http colon slash slash and any web address you would like that you have authority to display. Go ahead and save this and we'll refresh this in our browser. And as you can see now, Google has displayed inside of my iframe. So you can go ahead and place web pages in here. You can place content that uh, maybe a lot of companies use this for the terms and conditions or the disclaimer section where they, you know, they want to, they have to, required by law, give a terms and conditions in a disclaimer, but they don't want it to cover an entire page. They just want it to cover just a little section of their page. And so they would place it in an iframe, and that way the user can go ahead and scroll around and read it if they'd like.